Back with you now, set number two between Efren Reyes and Brian Cady. <laughs> he did it again, that break. Oh, did he? I like that break. He did it again and Efren fouled again. He fouled, yeah. That's but three fouls in a row with the same break. Yeah, at least he got, he got out of the trap for now. Actually, this is the fourth. Now it's easy to get out. <laughs> well, he played. Oh. He played a good shot, but the ball four kept ball. going and kept going. Left the four ball. Nice. I'll bang the twelve. I think so. Or the eleven. Yeah. What do you like better when you're in this situation? Well, if the, if like the 12 the is available, you like the bank on the 12 better? Oh, I like the, I'll bank the 12 better because yeah. if it's easy to, you know, if I, if I get, get enough room, yeah. it's easy to make that, you know, than the 11. But if I have another ball there, I might pick the 11 because just to plant it there. Yeah. So I have a, a threat. This one you gotta make it. He you looks like it? he's going to make this. Oh, he didn't make it. This is set number two, folks. Uh, the score, the game count is 0-0. Zero, zero. We're starting over again. Brian Katie lost the first set, 3-0. This is a uh, race to three, three set minimum match with Efren Reyes. And uh, Brian Katie is a Southern California resident right now. He's originally from Minnesota. Came out here to play Efren Reyes. Just gave it to him. Yeah, Efren Reyes just gave him that ball, didn't he? Uh, that ball is not dead. So I think that's now two balls for two. Uh, Brian. Yeah, Brian, yeah. Do you see what he's looking at? I think he's looking at a 3, 8, 15 combo. Yeah. Or to rail the 11. Or in it don't go. I don't think it goes. I don't think it goes either. He's just going to move the ball. But the yeah. combo or, yeah, yeah just, just put some balls. Some just balls like Efren does. Mm -hmm. Just puts balls to the pocket. Yeah. And he's gonna just tap the eight, put the cue ball on that end rail, without leaving this guy a bang. Oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh oh, cue ball just took off. I don't sure know did. what he's planning there. Probably hit it a thinner than uh, he should have. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna cost for anything right now. Well, but uh, Brian can definitely make this hard for Efren. He can put the 13 close to his side mm -hmm. and freeze up to the, to the uh, nine ball. I think that's what he's going to do. Yeah. yeah. Not exactly freezing to the nine, but... It's close enough. I want to thank, want to thank Geraldine Thibodeau for doing the doing the camera work tonight. It's looking at the three railer on this one. Oh, okay, let's leave the cue ball on this end rail. It's pretty good.
He's, he's totally free tomorrow, and he's free on Wednesday from 12 to 4. And then he's got to go back. Hope I'm not missing too much here, Alex. Uh, nothing much. Just every uh, just try to move some balls, and he and none of the balls hit the rail, so he, he fouled mm -hmm. again. He's got an open shot. Here. He's got the 13, but he can't reach it. So nothing really available for him. Even playing safe is hard. Yeah, defense. Defense looks tough. He might have to go for this just because defense is hard. Yeah. The thing is, he can't reach it. Looks like he's coming off the three. Oh, he's okay. He's good. Well, when you do that, you, you want to get right under that two. Yeah. Efren can do the him now. Hey, he can bank this five. I know, it should the 11, be put the cue ball behind the 13. Mm -hmm. That's what he's going to do now. Oh, yeah, that's true too, yeah. 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 Now Brian's in big trouble. Now he's in that he's in, he's in spot where Efren should be on that spot. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just basically did exactly what, uh, he did exactly to Brian what, now, what Brian was trying track. to do to him. How do you get out of it? Do you well, kick? I think it's just kick and take a foul. That's where, where the cue stick, the cue stick is at now. I think one rail or... Or two rails. I don't see any because the cue was behind the 13. You know, he, he could try to kick two or, or three rails behind the 14. You or, see that? Or maybe t tap the cue ball there, take a foul. If you're you really going to make a ball, wait for the next shot. You really got to know your angles if you're playing this shot, you know? You really yeah. got to know your angles. Well, you're right. There you go. Well, he uh, hit it good. You know what? He did, he did he okay. He good. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, He's good. smiling because he... I think everyone's going <laughs> to cut the nine now. The, six, he, uh, the nine an, ball? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. an aggressive player. Even for money, I've seen everyone fire that shot. It don't matter his opponent need eight, and he needed one, he'll shoot that shot. Really? Yeah, I've seen it. He'll do things that no one pocket player should do. <laughs> well, he's just got a lot of confidence in yeah, his game. That's yeah, it. he does. Well, his shooting average is just higher than, yeah. you know, most players. Sometimes he don't look, you know, in a way, I, I really, I disagree on those because you're not protect, protecting your lead. Uh huh. And it's not, yeah. It's not, especially when you're playing for money, you know. But at the same time, he gets away with it. Oh, well, you know, it's Efren. And this is what we come to see. We come to see this, you know, this yeah. amazing display. Perfect. Like what they call poetry in motion. Mm-hmm. Poetry in motion, exactly. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh. Alex, I think you jinxed it. <laughs> I think you jinxed it. He smiles. Look. See, people yeah. said that when he miss now, he don't smile. He's just smile. <laughs> I will draw this to the six or nine. So I get a shot. There you go. Oh, wow. He tried to. He, he tried to, to do your shot. That's the shot. Mm, yeah, because that was the opportunity to do it. Yeah, you, know? you need to open you need up. You need to break balls. a few more balls out. He needs four right now. Get it very. He would have been, you know, out if he tapped that nine ball a little bit. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's no. gonna mess. Hey, that's suicide. What are you doing? I want. No, 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 no. Take the five. <laughs> Get rid of that five uh, maybe ball. kick kick the five a little bit. Yeah. Kick it behind there. Do you kick off the long rail here? Kick no, and kick stick. Kick it over there. Huh? Kick it on the side rail a little bit. Okay. No, he's doing. He wants to do it. trying to do it. Does he think it will go with inside? You know, he's trying to massage the 13, I think. If I'm he's telling elevating you, you like know, that. the huge problem in, is here is if he misses, he sells out the, the rest of this rack. Yeah. More likely. Well, he's looking to play the nine. Or a safety of some kind? No. Bring the cue ball to the end rail? I, I, I don't like this. Just... No. Just play the safety. That's not a bad shot at oh. all. That well, was that works shot. too. <laughs> that, was that was exceptional. That was exceptional. Brian needs four, Efren needs five, if I'm not mistaken. What a shot. Yeah, he sacrificed the ball there, but uh, it paid off for him because Brian now has to come back with a defensive shot. Mm. What's he looking at, Alex? I was like looking at uh, probably playing the. Uh, oh. Okay. Hmm. Isn't that weird? Did, wanna... he, did he sell out the 11? Uh, the 11 ball banks, I think. It's off, you know, it's not. Uh, it doesn't go in the hole because of 14s there. Yeah, and it's. The angle is way too much. Gotta put a lot of inside. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone got a bang on the 11, but it's a very low percentage. Where? 11? Yeah, he does have that. But then again, if you miss, you know, you sell out a lot. And just to have ball there, some people will play that, stick whitey on the rail. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, just try to set like a trap too, just yeah, in case. The thing, if you make it, <laughs> you'll be the one shooting at the long one. That's true. I think he's gonna shoot the what is available here. The one ball. Oh, shooting at the 14, I think. Oh, okay. Just tap tap the 14 there. He played a good cue ball. Mm hmm. Now I think Brian, if he can see the 11, I will tap the 11 here. If I can see the 11. Look at the bank this. I get the feeling Brian... Oh, yeah, I don't like Brian this shot. Brian does get a little impatient sometimes when he sees a shot. Mm -hmm. you know, he wants to go for it. And you know, it reminds me of my game a little bit too. I'm mm -hmm. a little impatient sometimes. <laughs> He's going for the 11 though. Yeah, just tap it a little bit, wait. Oh, it's, you can't oh, see the 11. Okay. going for it. What a shot. What a shot. What a <laughs> shot. What a, what a sellout too, right? <laughs> he pointed that he was on that, uh, his stick on that rail, but he didn't, he didn't hit that rail where he's going to shorten up going to that towards of the ball, on the right side. He's got a bank. Nice. Shot. He still didn't get that cue ball behind shot. there. <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> he made it again. He made it again. And still didn't get it there. <laughs> didn't get an up draw. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? I didn't I didn't hear him. <laughs> you know, what's this? Five of the fourteen? Oh he cut it. Oh uh, he went for oh, this. Look at that oh inside. look at how much he killed this ball. Inside. <laughs> Only Efren Reyes, you know? Inside. Only Efren Reyes. <laughs> My God, it was so, it was all so beautiful. I forgot to keep score here. What are we? <laughs> I think Efren needs two. Efren needs two. Do you see this? He's uh, gonna bang the ten. But yeah, but do you see the fourteen and the five? Oh, For is Efren? it dead? No, I don't see it from here, but it looks like it might be wired. Uh, let's see if I can see from this angle. It looks, it looks al almost wired, you know? He's not going to play it. Yeah, it's banging the 10. Mm, almost scratched in the side. Brian did not scratch, did he? He just, uh, he just made the no, 11. It, yes. The 
it's a good cross. Yeah. He might fire a three railer here. Oh, he's gonna bang the ten. One rail? Yeah. S like a slip stroke, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was nice. You know, I think the ball slid a little bit there. The 10 ball, didn't it slide out a little bit? I'm not sure. I didn't quite pay attention on it because I was looking at the efference, uh, what kind of spin he put on that one. Uh, if he, he put spin on those or just play the angle. So you're gonna do your cock, kick, kick the five ball or cut the 14? Flip the five? Yeah, flip the five. That's what I'm gonna do. Fourteen and then hit, hit the five. Oh, he hit it way too full. Oh, he hit a rail at least. Off, off the 11. Oh, you like that shot? And he swung his body to the right. It looks like he didn't like it much. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Oh, we left him a bank. Yeah, he'll bank this all day. All day, Alex. All day. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. That's going to be the game ball. One more. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> Tough action for Brian, I tell you. Uh, Efren Reyes now wins the first game in the second set. Playing Brian Katie, a race to three. Okay, Dan, I'll leave you for a while. I'll Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, you to Alex uh, Loenko for stopping in with us. And once again, we want to thank uh, Chakio's Nutritional Supplement for focus, concentration, and endurance. If you need any of these things, check out Chakio today. And uh, once again, I want to thank Alex Loenko for uh, stepping in with us in the commentary booth. us.chakio.com I think he might be, well, he's looking at the nine. This is a free bank for effort. You don't have to worry about missing, just play a good cue ball. I think the, I think the, 
That last shot came in contact with the 15, and Efren's going to go all out here. He's going to cut this in. Open everything up. The cue ball freezes to the 10. This is not the final set, folks. This is a three race minimum. you guys that uh, we do not receive any percentage of Efren's winnings. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, this is a big, big jelly roll for Efren Reyes. And uh, we really appreciate your support. I wouldn't say big, big jelly roll. I mean, he's he's played uh, tough matches for bigger paychecks than this, but uh, this is all Efren. Thank Geraldine for doing camera work. She's amazing. She is the hostess with the mostest. It's really nice to get some close-ups of uh, the master at work. Dennis says that the uh, the highest he ever booked gambling with Efren was cheap action at a thousand a set. I just find it completely strange that uh, in this day of inflation, in this age of inflation, and uh, you know, based on past betting patterns and gambling patterns of players in the past. I find it very odd that the betting's actually gone down in pool instead of uh, going up based on uh, the rate of inflation. People bet for less than they ever did. Used to be an everyday thing to see people play for a thousand, five hundred a game, thousand a set, five thousand a set. All that's changed. It's a phenomenon. Looks good. That looks very good, Brian. Good shot. Brian came with it.
found room for the 14 ball, but he's going to be jacked up over this uh, 13 a little bit. He might be looking at at firing at this uh, 11, but you got to be careful. You touch this 15 or oh, it's better to have it roll out than to touch the 15, and that's all right. That's all right. Let's hope it's all right, because You're playing the grand poobah of all pool. <laughs> Ain't that right? Rex Goulet. I don't know, Brian. I don't know about this shot, sir. Take another look. Yeah. I'm not really seeing the, the point of shooting this combo. Okay, what he's trying to do is trying to shoot the combo and have a good cue ball. When he could just kick softly underneath this uh, 11. Sometimes the best thing to do is uh, is to lay up. I know you're playing Efren Reyes. I know he he's a master, but there is a formula to this game. Okay, you know what? Good on you. Good on you. You sacrificed the ball. That wasn't a bad shot. It wasn't the worst shot either. Now we got the moving game. I believe the score is now 7-4. Uh, Efren needs three to close. Or 6-4, actually. The final score would be uh, nine or seven. In this 10-7 race. Great shot of uh, players both looking onwards. It's quite possible Efren might take on the two, but he would be selling out the 15 if he misses. Ever so softly and ever so slowly, he is biding his time. He doubled up the 13 and the 15, so Brian can't shoot at it. 
He's taking this game up table. Kind of like saying, let's take this outside to the parking lot. No. Oh, you just, you just, you just came here with pizza and now I'm suddenly starving. I think I'm going to go get a slice. Oh, okay. Brian takes on the bank and I'm not sure, but it looks like it looks like Efren can't hit this 14 the way he'd want to because the 5 might be in the way. I can't really tell. <laughs> Brian played a good shot. Even though he missed, he, he, he's keeping the pressure on Efren. Both players playing for three balls. Brooks back. She, Hello, how was your league? I played one game and I won. You played one game and you won. Okay. Yes. Was it over at Big D's? No, no. Uh, it was down in uh, in Long Beach at the Broadway Bar. Oh, okay. That's my home bar. Okay. Uh, we were up six to nothing when I left, so I felt very confident to leave my boys to there take care go. of it. <laughs> I feel confident that you left. Yeah. They're like, you're going to leave? I was like, yeah, there's one pocket to be watched. I got to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brian has not won a game in the... Uh, this is his fourth or fifth game against Efren Reyes. He, won, he lost 3-0 in the first set. And Brian has not won a game yet. But he's coming very close to. Stick around, you just might see it happen. I know he's rooting for it. I think uh, Brian has very quickly wised up. He's not as wild as we anticipated him to be. He's playing some smart moves. But do you think that that being tighter against Efren when you're the weaker player is really to your best advantage. I think that maybe being a little aggressive might be, in certain spots, be adv advantageous. Well, he he actually, I think he did try that a couple times. And it just didn't work out. And it didn't work out. Actually, Efren left him a couple of easy shots to, to do something. And I think he, was, he spent the first set kind of warming up. Well, we know it takes a while. But right? really, to answer your question, he, he, I mean, he, he, I, I think it could work both ways, you know. Uh, in this situation, however, I think Brian is kind of forced to... Uh, Efren's forcing him to take this game up table. To move? Yeah, he's forcing him to move. He's actually being... Efren, I like this game that he's playing right now because he's being very careful not to lose this game. And I mean, it looks like he... He's not letting he, it get away from he's him. He's making each game important. Yeah, he's making this game important. Efren made a couple of mistakes early in this game, which which cost him a few balls. But uh, but you know, to Brian's merit, he played uh, he played good too. He played good back. So. You see how he's like he didn't go, he didn't try to do anything. Because we always than we always want to try and figure out that way to get that across yeah, to our side. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'll just, he didn't do I'll anything just there but just the move. Way. Yeah, yeah. He he's been like suddenly brought it up a different gear. I don't know if uh, you guys in the chat room have noticed that a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm just faking it. <laughs> Amen. 
Can he bank this ball and bring that cue ball out of there without coming into the 14? I don't think he can bank. Oh, you mean bank back bank the five mm -hmm. to his hole? Mm -hmm. I believe he would be hitting the 14. Although he might have heard you. <laughs> I'm a great coach. Actually, I can't tell if he's... Okay. I'm going to go home and watch you, is that I what you did. said? <laughs> Did you come by? Did you want to? Did you want to just come here and be a part of it with Brooke? Is that what you wanted to do? No, I'm going home. Oh, I need a break. I no, I'm kidding. I gotta get up in the morning. All right, man. Just go. All right. I'll, I'll listen a little bit. I'll, I'll stay awake till like uh, 10:42. Okay. <laughs> we love you, Dave. Dave Hama is checking out of the Hard Times Hotel. <laughs> You know what he does that uh, that Efren does that I can't get enough of. He always hits at the right speed, like the two. He's on got the bottom such now. good speed control. And when he goes for like a fire bank, he'll always bank it so that it comes up by the side pocket when he misses. If uh -huh. he misses, like he doesn't ever leave that nice little bank to your pocket. So you mean he's kind of controlling the speed of both balls? Yeah. 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 Where I'm lucky if I can control the speed of any of the mm, balls. Mm. <laughs> you know who I, I was told. And, you know, I don't know if you'll agree, but I was told who's also a master of controlling the speed of both balls is Earl Strickland. Oh, I can't believe he wouldn't be. Yeah. I mean, yeah. geez. It's definitely a fine art. Where'd Earl the five go? He made that on that <laughs> oh bank. Oh, my I told God. You. Earl doesn't do very many things wrong. You know what I mean? Like he he is he is a master of a lot. Of yeah, things. yeah. You know, other than maybe a a, a little bit of hijinks once in a while, Earl is probably one of the most flawless, you know, like discipline disciplined players you can come across. He, he might be over overly disciplined. Yeah, that was not very good shot. I think he's trying to trap him because... I think he was trying to double him up on the he 14. Did, he did double him up. Mm -mm. He's got the 14 clean. Oh, no. I mean, he doubled him up on his ball. Oh, yeah. What is he doing? What was that? How do you not shoot the 14? Brian, you shoot the 14 pocket speed. You lag that ball down the... Because it, doesn't, because it doesn't matter where you get to. Efren's going to have the 13. So you just shoot your ball in the hole. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he banked the ball in. <laughs> Efren needs one. That pocket is not that big for me. I'm just telling you. <laughs> is this going to go? Yeah. It is. He and he thinks he that, was, that was... That uh, was... He's shooting one more. That was a, oh, he's shooting for one. Okay. So I lost count. Oh, there it is. Wow. Man, Brian really let that get away from him. He was doing really well in this game.
Well, no, he actually, uh, he was begging me to send him a bit. Yeah, I told him. By the skin of his teeth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just, uh, 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 uh,
进了国学Nice shot by Brian. I don't know a bellflower, Brian, so I'm not I'm not sure if that's who that is or not. What time frame was uh, Belfar Brian from? I've uh, oh Hawaiian Brian, yeah, he was he is a beast. I think I think he still plays over there. Oh my goodness. We agree. Wait for it. Oh. So Efren's playing for one. Oh, and Brian got a nice little kiss on that nine ball. But it looks like Efren's going to uh, bank back without any repercussion. Oh. Or not. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Thank you. 
Well, he ended up not having a bad shot, but uh, it was a bad shot. Steve, tell Chris I said hi. I will. You, you got it. That's good to you know. 20 hours. Just let me drive up there. We'll know. We'll know when to leave. Yeah. When we, when we drive up there, we'll come work for you. We'll know if you went straight. We'll know if you went straight. So that'll be the end of the second set. And if I disappear for five minutes, are you okay? So now we're back to zero zero, right? Is that the end of the set? Yeah, wow, yes, okay, just recording the set.